Hello, friends. I'm Fuzzy Viper Shark, and on the radio is Tony Bruno doing the to Tony Bruno Show. And we are going to be playing weeks one through four of our very first season as the Mexico City Sharks. Now, um, I realized I forgot to do this after the fantasy draft, but I want to go in and look at the other replacement team's roster. So I'm just going to do that quick, uh, point out some notable players, and then we'll get right into the action. So for those curious, because I'm curious, uh, Peyton Manning does ultimately end up on the Broncos, which is kind of poetic. That's where he ended his career, and that's where he is in 2006. Tom Brady is on the Chargers. With Marshall Falk as their halfback, that's going to be a powerful team. Oh no, there's Steve Smith. There's the other Steve Smith. The Chargers are going to be tough to beat. With Tom Brady, Steve Smith, Marshall Falk, Plexico Burris. Um, oh my gosh, they have a 95 overall LG Crumpler as their tight end. Their offensive line doesn't look too bad. Yeah, the Chargers are going to be tough. They have a scary front seven on their defense. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out on the Chargers, see how they're doing throughout the league. Good thing they're on the opposite side of the country from us. And we come across the Santa Fe Coyotes. Their starting quarterback is Billy Volek. Starting running back, Ruben Drowns. I think that's how you say that. And the receiving core starts with Jerome Armstrong, Peter Wark, and Ricky Prohl. They have a really great offensive line. 89 overall, 97 overall, 97 overall, an 86, and an 89. That's a pretty good front five. Then they have a 99 overall Dante Rudd at defensive tackle. Their secondary looks pretty scary, too. The Florida Geckos quarterback is John Kitna. Then they have Williams McGee at their starting running back. I'm pretty sure that little band-aid icon means that he's injury prone, so maybe we'll keep an eye on that. Some fairly average wide receiving core. Then we come to the Portland Pharaohs. The Portland Pharaohs have Jake Plummer as their starting quarterback with a 90 overall. I don't know what that icon is. Oh, I thought it was a stack of money. It's Captain Comeback. He is considered... Captain Comeback. Sounds like a pretty decent quarterback to have. Amon Green at running back. He also has a couple of roles I'm not familiar with. Oof, he is fumble prone. Earned this role because his carrying is less than 76 and he had at least five fumbles this season. Or I guess the previous season. The roles can also be a detriment and that one is huge. He's also considered an NFL icon, which I'm not going to disagree with during this era. Again, another average receiving core. Right after that, we have the Phoenixes, the... Where did I put them? Louisville Phoenixes. Uh, headed by Chris Sims, who I'm pretty sure does commentary now. 84 overall, three years pro. Oh, yes, of course. Quarterback of the future, just like my quarterback, Vince Young. Deuce McAllister, not a bad halfback to have. They went heavy on the receiving core. They have two 90 plus overall players with Heinz Ward and Reggie Wayne. So that's going to help out Chris Sims a lot. 99 overall, Dwayne Irving at defensive tackle. Which brings us to the DC Red Tails. Drew Brees is our starting quarterback. And he is a franchise quarterback. Here we go. His starting offensive line receives plus two awareness, plus two pass blocking, and to starting receivers, tight ends, halfback, and fullback receive plus two catching and awareness while he has this role. Drew Brees is going to be a force to reckon with. They have C.J. Caldwell heading their backfield. Frank Gore as their number two. And Joseph Adai behind them both. So they're going to have halfbacks for a long time if they can keep them healthy and they don't trade any of them. Receiving core isn't all that fantastic. Uh, 
Keyshawn Johnson is their number one, 88 overall, but then it drops 10 overall to Dante Hall, Brandon Williams. They have quite a bit of rookies, so they must have went heavy somewhere else. So the Red Tails went heavy linemen and defense. A lot of their 90 overall, that's a, a defensive lineman, offensive lineman, a secondary lineman, lineman, defensive lineman. Then you got Drew Brees. The Seattle Sea Dragons. Their starting quarterback, Larry Rogers, a 96 overall, 11 years pro. So I could see him retiring after this season. They might have to draft one. Uh, I don't think they'll keep Chad Hutchinson, or at least I don't think they'll promote him to starter. I think they'll draft a new one. There's Marvin Harrison, uh, the other wide receiver duo of this era's Colts, 97 overall. Howard Devlin, Wes Welker, 94 overall Todd Heap at tight end. And that brings us back to our Sharks. So without further ado, let's get into week one of the Mexico City Sharks. A rainy day to start here in Pittsburgh. Uh, week one of the very first matchup of, I think, the 2006 the season. We have the captains coming to the middle of the field for the coin toss. The Sharks select. We go, tails never fails. And, of course, it doesn't. So we will be kicking right away. Hopefully the conditions will get better as the game goes on. We'll let their offense start and put all the faith in the defense. Ready to put this one in the air. Oh no! Oh no, what am I doing? Why? Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened. I was just speechless. I couldn't say, and then, yep, that was, yep. Oh my gosh. All right, let's pretend that never happened. Oh, and because this is 2006, I didn't mean to click punt block. Uh, yes, because it's 2006, the field goal attempts are from the two yard line. What a great start to this season. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That should have been intercepted. I don't know what I was thinking. He was all over him. He was running the route for him. Yeah. No, Greg Jennings drops it. We worked on that in training camp. He was there. It was through the window. Oh my gosh, drops it on third and 11. A quick three and out for the Sharks. And just a terrible punt because I was trying to do something cute with it. Oh, he, he had it. We, oh, that was a really good defensive play. We were pressuring the quarterback. We almost got to him and then it hit him right in the hands. That would have been big. We've got Vince Young, and we're going to use him. Who cares if he fumbled it out of bounds? That was a dangerous play. I wanted, I think it was Greg Jennings to get open. He was coming across the field. But he was just running into the defender, and the defender was not getting out of his way. It was literally impeding his progress to run the route. That should have been a flag. Reggie Bush gets us a first down. We are in the red zone for the first time. Oh. Oh, I should have just taken the sack and then the three points. They, they brought the heat on that one. Nice, that was a good stop, good stop. Third and long, they got three wide receivers. I'm bringing a blitz. Oh, and I absolutely just throw the game away. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. The receiver ran a perfect route and he turned around just in time. No. 
There's going to be a lot of polishing that needs to be done on this turret if we're going to look good. I, I just don't know, man. We got to keep the spirits up. Just, it's okay. It's all right. After the interception, they'll set up shop at the 46. It's not all right. You've got to be kidding me. He was all over him. He, he was there. That was going the other way. Oh, I clicked off of the replay. I didn't want to see it. Oh, my gosh. From the six. Number 23. Looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the side Excellent. We get the Ooh. All right, we got to make smarter decisions here. I hit the wrong button, but it doesn't matter. Steve Smith saved us. I wanted to throw to Antonio Gates. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that was terrifying when I realized I, the direction the ball was going. Reggie Bush has got to run to the outside. He's got room to run. He gets a stiff arm off. Almost gets us to the red zone once again. That was a great run from him. We needed that. That brings us some more life. And we get our first touchdown of the season, the connection to Antonio Gates. I had to scramble a little bit. I think that's going to be the, the play for now on. Try to bait the corner if they're in man there. And they just throw it for a touchdown. All right. I was really hoping I'd get to show you this. So because the field goal point after attempts are on the two, all I have to do is press A. I don't even have to swing. Watch this. Works every time. It's literally automatic. It could be a 20 mile an hour wind in your face. It's still going to go through. There's our drive summary presented by Sprint. We do not let them take it to the house this time. So if we can get a stop here, we have three timeouts and the two minute warning yet. If we can get a stop here and at least a field goal, we're going to be back into this game. So we get the ball at during the half. Oh, I'm so glad he knocked it out. He went for that ball. I told him to go for the ball. Knock it out! Did he get it? And it's a two-minute warning. First and ten. They got it. No. Come on. That's where the chase and tackle drill comes through. Seriously. Extending that lead. Okay, I was hoping to run more time off the clock than that, but now I know that 10 seconds is basically the maximum. Yes, Antonio Camardi with the interception in essentially what is garbage time for the first half. Yeah, can't take a safety here. I'm just gonna kneel it. He'll just take a knee. At the end of two, score is 28-7. Steelers. Yeah, that was a rough first half for us. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. Steve Smith, wide open, hits a power move off, breaks through tacklers, brings us inside the red zone. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. <laughs> oh, great heavens! Not many quarterbacks are able to escape when he's coming after you. When he breaks through. This one is fielded by Peterson. A holding? 
Hold on, we've got a pen. Oh, wow. Of course we're going to make them start on their own 10 so they can get all 90 yards for a touchdown. I didn't even tell him to do that that time. Antonio Camardi just went for the ball and let him score again. Nice. Nice execution on the punt. Why are they booing a good punt? Let me have this, okay? A fumble! We got it! Let's hope it stands. Oh my, I figured they were going to immediately challenge it. He still looks up. I think he's up. I think that's a fumble. But of course, this is 2006 graphics from the Wii, but... I don't think he touches the ground. I don't think any part of him. Unless his knee there. Unless the game thinks his knee there. But he's on top of the defender. That should stand. No shot. That is some bullshit. Okay, you know what? I'm going to call his calf down. I think that's, that's what they had to have seen. But I still disagree. But, I mean, there's so many pixels you can look at so I guess the way his ankle is bent uh we'll we'll give it to him I I guess I disagree with the call but whatever yeah we're going field goal block on him <laughs> it worked Jumped? No way. I'm. This is actually like super meta, um, but I am preventing them from kicking a field goal, and thus only going to be losing by 25 instead of 28. So I mean, this is this is genius. Zero second. Oh, wait, but the game can't end on a defensive penalty. Oh, my. You've got to be kidding me. What? No, they got to do I What? <laughs> Are they going to end the game? Oh, I have to. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm going to end the game. <laughs> it worked. Oh, not a good. Not a good first game. We got a lot of stuff to figure out, but hey, brand new team, brand new season, a lot of new guys. We got to figure out our identity, and we have to figure it out on special teams and our secondary. That's that's where it's hurting us. Okay, a rough first game. Lost 35 to 10. Let's see how everyone else did. We got the Pharaohs 0-1, 6 to 24. They lost to the Panthers. Sea Dragons lost to the Lions, 16-23. Phoenix is the closest so far to a win, 23-26, lost to the Chiefs. The Coyotes are the first one to get a win of the eight random teams over the 49ers, 22-24. The Geckos with a one-point win over the Cowboys, very, very close. The Red Tails get a win as well. And the Steam lose on Monday Night Football. 17-24 to the Chargers. The Chargers are the one that I said we got to watch for. I think they're going to be very good. One week is not indicative of how the season's going to go, unless it's us. So, we'll get into this. We'll get into the second game. And it is a rivalry game. Our division rival of the Buffalo Bills at home in Mexico City. Even though it's Miami, we're going to pretend it's Mexico City. Our home opener, we are 0-1. Let's see if we can bounce back in front of our home crowd. Let's go! And we're going to go with the all-purple alternate one for our home opener. Oh, the beautiful stadium. 
All right, better start than last game. He did not get to the 25, even though a touchback is the 20 in this game. We didn't let them get a touchdown mostly. So let's see what we can do on defense here. Hands off to the tailback. Setting up play action. Throws it. Uh oh. No way he stood in bounds. Oh my gosh, Camardi was so torched. Stinky. We can't be giving up those big plays. He's not even on the screen. There's no way he stood in bounds. I can't. I'm not going to challenge it. Oh, that was a great run by Reggie Bush. Our first 20 plus yard run of the season. I don't think there's a slide function, so I had to dive because if I get decked, I'm going to fumble it again, which I don't want to do. Fights his way to the 26. I thought Smith was open, but I didn't want to risk it. I saw an open lane, and I ran to get the first down. Oh, I I saw the lane open on the outside, and he just broke free right before I could make the edge. Okay, we're going to actually attempt to pass it this time. He's got it. He's got it. Touchdown, Antonio Gates. He's got... Two for two as far as getting passing touchdowns per game. One passing touchdown per game. And we will be tying it up here with a field goal on the point after. Oh, and a tackle for loss. Let's go. Ah, he completed a pass, but it's short of the first down. It's third and short. No shot. Oh, fourth down there saying he was out of bounds. We'll take it. We'll take it. We made a stop. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be running to the right with Vince Young here. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm glad I got it off. The fullback was wide open. Help me. Help me. Please get up. Okay, he's okay. Fourth and two. On our own 50, the analytics say go for it. I'm liking the look of this defense. It's going to be a bit of a run to the outside. I think we got this. Oh, if I can follow my blockers. Fumble. There's no way that was a fumble. He was on the ground for a full minute and a half before it said fumble. Let's see if they're reviewing it for me so I don't have to challenge it. Nope, they're going to make me challenge it. There's no shot. This is a fumble. If that other one wasn't a fumble, arm is down. That's going to be reversed. We got a first down, boys. Play was down before the ball came out. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Can't believe they even called that a fumble. Embarrassing. We're going to go halfback lead dive. Yeah, this is kind of like a maybe a little bit of a giving up on this drive, but we're just going for the points now, field goal. Unless there's a breakout run right up the middle. Reggie Bush gets us the first down on a, on a 10 yard rushing play. That keeps the drive alive. Oh my gosh, I threw it late because I pressed the wrong button. That should have been a pick six. What was that? Comes up to make the play. I don't think that was a designed quarterback run. It wasn't a designed quarterback run. Right down the middle as we practice. That gives us our first lead of the season, 10 to 7 over the Buffalo Bills. Oh, I really bit on that run. I was hoping the quarterback still had the ball. Bring in the house. Okay, Cromartie stayed on his guy and he made the tackle. That's what matters. Really need to keep him out of the end zone. Helmet came off. You're not going to see that in today's Madden. Oh, and they're hurrying up to the line. Oh, 
this pass is incomplete. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> so sometimes, I remember in the past, that, that'll be a defensive pass interference if you even touch the guy when you're a user on the defense. So thank goodness it wasn't. Nice. Nice swat. Oh, and he just sneaks it in. I, how did he catch that? Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Feet set. Dumps it off to Thompson, and he scores a touchdown. 32-yard touchdown pass. Ooh, that feels good to get before halftime. Beckham in bounds. Puts the defense back this time. Hopefully, we can nail the quarterback. Well, we pressured him. We're going to do it again. Oh, nice. That was big. Okay, we are just going to kneel this, take it to halftime. We get it after half. So it shouldn't be a problem. What does Madden say to do? A Hail Mary? No. Okay, an excellent first half. Definitely a better showing than last week. We got to keep it up. Get the ball starting the second half against the Bills. There's our halftime stats. 158 total yards. All right, let's keep our offense on the field. No mistakes. Couldn't quite get the block downfield, but picks up a first down. Better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. Not a great first drive coming out of halftime. All right, let's see if we can keep the pressure on them on defense now and hold them to no points. Oh, we almost had him in the backfield, but he's breaking it off for a first down. Dang it. We, we had him dead to rights in the backfield. But he broke the tackle and made the play. Yeah, I think a false start. Yep. Bringing Ian Gold on the blitz. What? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. You. No! You've got to be kidding me. What? Is C not throw it away? Like Antonio Camardi's slow or something, he's getting burned by these receivers and he was wide open. We need a big stop here on defense, please. Oh, all right, good first play. I don't know what, it's some kind of silly reverse. Big loss. One more, we just need one more stop. They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead. That was scary because I whiffed on one guy and then he picked it up. So it's all right. Get to the outside. We are on their side of the field. That was terrifying. Hit the two minute warning. It's all good. No shot. He got his hand up and it just knocked it out. Oh, we have to go for it here. Passed late by. Oh my gosh. Come on. No way. Well, that's pretty much game. I don't know how we didn't stop them there. 
<laughs> Straight up the middle. No one's even touching him. Why did they call? Oh, they called timeout because he's hurt. In victory formation. Well, there you have it. Starting the season off 0-2. Not a happy Nick Saban. Not a good showing for the home field fans. All right, after week two, Pharaohs are 0-2. Phoenix are 1-1. We are 0-2. Coyotes are 2-0, and, and they beat the 0-2 Sea Dragons. Red Tails are 1-1. One and, one, and the Geckos are 1-1. One one. So that's where we're going to leave it off for week two. I can't thank you enough for watching. If you made it this far, this is only the beginning. There's more to come. We will get better. We're going to work out the kinks. But if you want to join us for the journey, please leave a like and subscribe. Then you know when the next video is uploaded. Again, I can't thank you enough for watching. I'm Fuzzy Viper Shark. Peace.